Hi, welcome to BTH channel. You can easily share files by creating a data sharing website with True NAS. First create a new data sheet where the shared data is stored. Here I create a new data sheet and name it WebNav. To create a shared website you use the WebNav feature on TrueNAS. This is a feature available on TrueNAS, so you just need to enable it and use it. Here I add a new WebNav share and navigate to the data store I created in the previous step. Since the default WebDev service is disabled, you will be recommended to enable it. In addition, grant access to the data sheet that I created in the previous step. Next, we check the settings of WebDev. By default WebDev will be protected by password, here I temporarily disable password. You open any browser and enter the IP address of Trunus. 8080 in the folder you shared. So we already have a sharing website. So what should I do if I want to upload data? Please watch the whole video. If you want to protect your data with a password then configure as above and create your own password. Here I will create a simple password of 123. Every time you access the sharing website you will be asked to enter your username and password. The default username is WebNav, and the password is set by you. Followed by advanced configurations for your site, including encryption and internet access. To enable encryption of communications between the user and the web server you enable the HTTPS protocol. Don't forget to choose an available true NAS certificate for your website. HTTPS will also protect your data better when sharing over the internet. In the next part I will show you how to share data over the internet. First you set up DNS and gateway for true NAS. Here I set the DNS for true NAS as 1.1.18.8.8.8.8.4.4. Gateway IP address is usually your router IP address. Most routers have IP address 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1. The router I am using has IP address 10.11.32.140. To be able to access from outside the internet you need to forward the port on the router. Specifically in this example I am forwarding port 8081 to IP address 10.11.32.56. 10.11.32.56 is the IP address of true NAS. After successful port forwarding, you can share data over the internet using the public app address. If your public app address is dynamic then you need to use DuckDNS. With DuckDNS you will have a domain name and don't need to worry about the public app address changing anymore. As instructed by DuckDNS you create a new cron job and paste the command as instructed. You choose nobody and run as user. You choose the schedule to update your public app address hourly, daily, weekly, monthly as you like. If you haven't updated yet, you need to update immediately to be able to use the domain name. Next I will use the domain name to access the sharing site. So we have a sharing website, but what do we need to do to upload the data? You will need the WebDev client software. 
Here I use ROM drive, also you can use BitKinux. You enter information such as domain name, login name, password, shared folder name, port 8081 to connect to the web dev server. With Raw Drive you can upload the data you want to share. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel BTH.